Hey guys, this is Flaming Awesomeness. And today I would like to show you my design for my um, Mammoth Paintball Grenade Mine. So, this whole system um, is pressure based. And, um, well, I'll take you through it, how it works, and how to build it. So, now, I haven't test this, tested this house out. I'm kind of putting this out as a challenge um, for anyone who has money to do it. I don't have the money right now, because I am poor. No, I'm not poor. But, um, yeah, so, I'll show you how it works. So, um, this little board here, this thing right here, um, this is... This has nails on the bottom, so you stick that in the ground, and then you lay down this mammoth grenade. This is this is this whole part makes the whole thing work. And so basically, if you see my other video, this is just a mammoth paintball grenade, and then it's capped off with the washer. <coughs> and instead of it being just like free, um, there's it's connected to a hose barb right here inside this um, end cap, and um, that's with a hose clamp and that's connected to the rest of the surgical tubing and so when you step on this the washer pops off and releases all the liquid which in turn will um, go up through this end cap through this piece of PVC this 45 degree elbow and then it'll go up to this end cap that'll have multiple small holes drilled in it so it gets like a uh, like a shower head effect um, when you step on it and, um, that's my mammoth paintball grenade. Now, to make it, you'll have to first start with a mammoth paintball grenade with a longer neck on the end. Then, um, so you'll, so you'll build that, and then you put it aside. And then you'll take, um, your board of, your wood board, and, um, first thing you'll do is you'll, um, measure it. And then mark the very center with, like, a sharpie or something. And then you're going to put nails just about everywhere except for the very center and leave some space. And then um, you drill out the very center and um, you put a bolt there connecting this end cap. You also drill a hole through the end cap and the bolt. And then you have to make sure that the, um, the hole on the end cap is small enough so that the threads dig in and there's no room for the um, liquids to escape. And then so you'll connect that with a nut and then... You'll drill a hole just small enough for the um, threads on the hose barb to just dig in, so no, no liquid can escape through that, and um, you'll connect that in. Next, you'll PVC cement your um, end cap to this section of PVC, and do the same with the 90 degree elbow on this side, and then also uh, PVC cement a small 1 inch section of half inch PVC in here, but then you'll just fit on this cap. But before you fit it on, you have to drill like I say, I'd say maybe 15 holes in it, with um, probably your your second smallest drill bit. And um, and then you'll fit that on there. Now you won't PVC cement that. And then to set up this, like I said, you'll put this in the ground and um, attach your mass paintball grenade with um to to the hose barb with the hose clamp. And then, um, after you're done with that, <coughs> you'll take off this end cap and fill this with, um, with some of the paintball liquid. That way, um, the, when someone steps on this paintball grenade, um, the, the liquid inside the paintball grenade won't have to take time to fill up this, um, tube thing. Um, that way you'll get a faster reaction. And, um, you'll have a better chance of getting someone. And that is how you build, um, my Mammoth Paintball Grenade Mine. And I don't have any promises about this, so I don't even know if it'll work. And that's it.